All right, speaking of our veterans, April is Paralyzed Veterans Awareness Month. Joining me this morning is the National President of Paralyzed Veterans of America, Al Kovac Jr. Thank Good you. morning. You are a Navy SEAL. I was, yeah, you a long were, time ago. And you were based here, obviously, in Coronado. Correct. First, let's talk about what happened to you. I was a member of SEAL Team 5, and we're getting ready to deploy to the Philippines, and uh, we were told to go jump out of an airplane one day. And uh, it was basically a, a simulated combat jump, so we had a lot of gear with us. And uh, my gear got tangled up with another jumpers and uh, broke my neck. But I was met back to Balboa Naval Hospital where those bikes were taken, taken from. And uh, once I was stabilized there, I went to a very special unit at the VA in San Diego. It's up in La Jolla, and they specialize in spinal cord injury. And there's 25 of those across the country. And Paralyzed Veterans of America played a major role in getting that unit built. Let's talk about this particular month and what you are pushing. I know we, we were just talking. We're talking about health care, better health care. Yep benefits yep. and jobs correct let's talk about the big issues facing our, our paralyzed veterans well paralyzed veterans are uh, very complex and that's where paralyzed veterans of America really thrives in, in filing claims with the VA that are very very complex matter of fact uh, 60 percent of veterans with spinal cord injuries also have brain injuries mm -hmm. and there's all the other stuff that goes along with that of course. And paralyzed veterans uh, assures that our quality of care starts from the time we're disabled all the way to the day we pass away mm -hmm. and then there's of course the benefits that apply to our survivors sure as well but let's talk about the VA you know there's been a lot of a lot of controversy surrounding the VA the secretaries have changed over there has yep. been a lot of problems do you do you I know you were just saying that your organization is the only one that can audit correct so there's 25 spinal cord injury centers across the country and PVA is the only veterans organization that's authorized to go into the VA healthcare system and audit the quality of care that our veterans are getting. And so what we have, have you found? Well, our doctors and our nurses and our architects have found that there are these secret waiting lists going all the way back to 2008, and we were telling Congress about it, but they ignored us. And look what happened. Mm -hmm. So when once this big debacle was discovered, VA and Congress came to Paralyzed Veterans of America and said, we know about these audits. Let's see them. Let's meet on a regular basis so we can see exactly where those, uh, where those problems lie. And, and so, are you satisfied with the changes that have started to happen or are pl or should be made? Are you satisfied? Absolutely. Um, the Undersecretary of Health, who seemed to be the uh, catalyst of these problems, uh, he's resigned. Um, we have uh, the new Secretary, Bob McDonald, sure. is terrific. Mm -hmm. He's brought in some of his outsiders into the uh, VA system to try to figure out how we're going to fix it. And he's making wonderful progress right now. Let's talk about jobs and getting our, our, our disabled veterans into the workforce. I think there's a lot of maybe stigma, maybe you know social bias thing. Maybe they can't perform the way an able-bodied person can. And you obviously are trying to debunk that myth. Of course. And actually corporations are actually wanting to hire disabled veterans. They just don't know how to accommodate us. So that's where we step in. We're able to tell the, uh, the employers Hey, this is what you're going to need if you want to hire, let's say, a paralyzed veteran. Mm -hmm. And we've, right now we've got about 2,000 uh, veterans in the queue for, to get them jobs. And I'm, I'm telling you, corporations want to hire us. Mm -hmm. They just need to know. They just need some direction, and that's where we step in. We're kind of like a match.com for uh, hiring veterans. We take the perfect employer with the perfect veteran. We match them up. And if you know what, things don't work out, we'll then find a different employer for the veteran, and we'll find a different veteran for the employer. What else can anybody do, people who are watching right now, and saying, you know, maybe I have a small business, and, and I would love to be able to hire a disabled veteran. What can anybody watching do? Well, here in San Diego, we have a chapter located at the VA hospital. I'd encourage them to contact the Paralyzed Veterans chapter at the VA hospital, and they'll help you uh, steer the employer in the right direction. All right. Well, Al, thank you so much for coming in. Thank it was you for very nice me. to talk to you this morning. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to be right back with more Good Morning San Diego right after this quick break.